Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. You may have heard by now, Capital Land is actually going through a restructuring and listing of Capital Land investment. So they are going to hold an EGM very soon. And of course, after that, uh, the whole exercise will be executed. So what are the things you need to know about this exercise? I am about to do a long story short version. Hopefully it can actually give you a better understanding of what is happening here. Now, first thing first, we actually need to gather information about this exercise. So where can we go and collect information about it? So this is what you do here. You go to sgx.com, securities, company information, company announcement. You key in capital land. And there you have it. They have uh, all sorts of information there okay, uh, under the announcement segment. So what I usually try to do here is look for a uh, PowerPoint presentations. So usually they have uh, one of them. In this case, they put it here under other scheme of arrangements, strategic restructuring of capital and limited. And there you have it. You can actually find the PPT here. Okay. So of course, uh, if you can, you can just read through the PPT. Uh, what I am going to do next is, you know, highlight to you what are the important things about this exercise in this PPT, uh, at least for myself. Okay, so first thing first, uh, know what is happening here. So basically, there will be a new type, uh, entity that will be formed and listed now. Okay, so it's called Capital Land Investment. And in short, CLI. So uh, this is uh, separated from Capital Land, the main company, as you can see here. Okay, so what they have done here is this: they have segregated uh, Capital Land Development. So this is the brick and mortar business. Uh, so really, the cons the the buying land, the building, or the developer role of Capital Land. Okay, so this part will eventually be privately held. Okay, that means it's no longer listed. So what that it remain listed is this capital and investment, and it actually includes these three main functions, fund management, lodging management, and real estate investments. So basically, they have segregated the actual act of developing worker, uh, buy land, build, sell, separate out from their service-related worker, uh, so which is fund management, lodging management. So these are all services uh, providing services and real estate investment, so basically they also put in their own money. Okay, so capital land investment itself uh, also have their own, uh, uh, own money for the investment they are talking about here. Okay, so this is a very uh, clear differences uh, uh, between capital land investment and capital land. And in short, the development arm is taken out of the listed entity. Yeah? So know what is happening here. Okay. So of course, uh, in the exercise, this is what happened. Okay, for every one capital and share, after the exercise, they will get one CLI share. As I mentioned, CLI is the new listed entity, capital investment plus 95.1 cents in cash. Okay, that's quite a bit of money. Plus 0.155 CICT unit, uh, the units. So CICT is the capital and integrated commercial trust. So you actually get some units of the trusts here okay uh, so how uh, what is this four dollars and uh, 102 cents okay so basically the book value of CR share that means you know after you have the entity is formed okay based on their underlying assets the book value is actually worth about two dollars and 82 three cents of course cash is cash and uh, CICT based on the price that they actually did this presentation is 0.328. So that's how they actually derive this $4.1002. Okay, so the other thing that I probably want to explain a bit more is this, what do I mean by service related business? Uh, so I have to be clear. So the one main part is actually really providing service farm management. So imagine how does a farm management looks like? You go in, you see a lot of people in suits. They are the one that help you make investment decision. 
So I like a developer company. So if you actually walk into a developer company, you probably see people like architect, you see people like engineers, okay? Uh, you even see probably like people in construction head, so on and so forth. But when we talk about fund management, basically you just see people in suit, shirt and tie, and the other one, you know, just basically helping you to make investment decisions. Okay, I should buy this property, I should actually buy this piece of real estate, so on and so forth. Also, that's why I mentioned business and how they make money is by collecting fees. Huh? So like, uh, basically, as you can see here, the fund under management is about 78 billion. And let's say, let's say they just collect 1% fees. That's how much they actually can get per annum. Huh? It's a fee business. So the other part is the lodging business. Now, lodging business. So as you all know, Capital Land has a very strong lodging arm, uh, Escort. Huh? So basically, they'll be helping to run uh, uh, the, the service apartment business. Uh, so again, uh, is let's say, for example, someone have a property, they want to turn to a service apartment, so they may actually engage a uh, capital land uh, investment distinct entity, and they will, they will come in and help them to, you know, brand the place, help them to lease out and help them to manage the place. Also, in return, they actually collect a fee. So again, you can see very different from develop, a developer business. Okay, the other part is about this real estate investment. So basically, this entity also have their own money okay, invested in various uh, real estate projects. Uh, they actually put their own money. Or put, in, uh, or, or put in this case, uh, if you actually buy into capital land, okay, you actually back up by very solid uh, NAV, uh, book value. You actually are buying into uh, probably a group of real estate investment as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, again, I'm reiterating to myself, okay, one thing is very clear is this. So they actually, from, from the li listed entity perspective, they simply just took up the developer arm. Uh, okay, so they no longer do the really the, the brick and mortar business of constructing property in this uh, new listed entity. Okay, uh, so uh, some other information that is important to me are the dates. Uh. So as you can see here, the date of the EGM is 10 August. Also for those who actually want to go and do voting, uh, these are the dates to take notes. Okay. Uh, then as you look at the dates, uh, so if let's say everything went past smoothly on the 16th September, we will actually get the cash consideration, okay, the 90, uh, 95, uh, one, uh, 95 cents. 95.1 cents, okay. Then on the same day itself, we can actually get uh, the new CLI shares and the CICT shares, okay. Uh, and of course, on 17, the existing capital shares will be delisted and CLI shares will be listed, okay. So these are the dates if, of course, in the, AG, uh, the EGM, everything goes on smoothly. So at the end of the day, all this information is supposed to help you make certain decisions. So before we go there, uh, let's look at uh, what is the market price now or how market reacts to this news. Uh? So uh, as at the date of me producing this video, which is on 22nd July, capital M price is $4.05. Uh, CICT, capital M integrated commercial trust is $2.10. Uh, which means to say that the implied CLI or the new a listing entity is actually going to be $2.77 based on uh, okay, the market price of capital land today. How I get 2.77, I take 4.05, minus of 0.951, and minus of 0.155 multiplied by 2.10. And in that sense, the implied price to book value uh, as on the date 22nd July, which is the day I produce this video, is uh, uh, 0.98 uh, times. So if you ask me, is this price expensive? Uh, not really, not really. I think this price is still fair. As long as the price will book below one, I think it's actually still quite okay. Uh, but uh, I don't foresee a huge growth, uh, at least over the short term. Okay. Uh, so far, relatively speaking, the real estate companies, some major companies, they're more trading about uh, one. Okay. If let's say it's about one, I think it's, you know, uh, it's quite fair. Okay, now. So let's come to the decision point. Should I buy? Should I sell? Should I do nothing? Okay, so uh, I will actually, personally, I will analyze it from two perspectives. One is, uh, of course, the business part. Okay, number one, uh, if you ask me, it's actually quite a drastic shift in the business. Taking out the brick and mortar part. Uh, and, you know, for the listed entity, 
uh, you are looking at pure fund managers or pure service provider, okay, without the, the brick and mortar business. Okay, uh, personally, uh, personally, I would have preferred uh, for a real estate fund management house uh, to have some development arm. But having said that, um, I'm actually okay with this new entity. I still believe in their growth story. Uh, and personally, as an existing shareholder, uh, I'll be happy to actually still hold on to stock, at least from the business perspective. Uh, of course, if let's say you're not a shareholder, um, do you think we want to buy now? Okay, so, so this is one of the main consideration. Do you actually like the business? So next is the pricing. If you are thinking of selling, uh, if you ask me, I think the price is actually quite right. Okay, so like I said just now, 0.98, I think it's right price. Uh, uh, I don't see a lot of huge increase uh, over a short period of time. So they are selling, I think the price is quite right. Uh, if you are thinking of buying, Okay, uh, hopefully to get some arbitrage profit or repricing or mispricing profit, I believe is quite unlikely. Lah. Okay, so basically this news uh, was out in March. Uh, so they actually first launched, uh, uh, talk about this news in March. Uh, and since then the market has uh, really digested this news and I believe now the price is actually quite close to the market price. Uh, so I really doubt there is any opportunity for arbitrage or mispricing or whatever quite yet. Okay, so hopefully I have actually given you uh, information and some guidelines to how to analyze, uh, how to make some decision. Hopefully you uh, learn something from this video. So if you like what you see, do click on the subscribe button so we actually get motivated to do more of such video. So with that, thank you so much and take care.